Hello, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with another video for my YouTube channel and blog and also the website as well. I'm going to put together a single photo frame, one of our kits, um, and I thought I'd share it with you and then put the video onto the uh, website page that goes with the kit as well. So in the kit, single photo frame kit, you get all of the pieces, chipboard pieces that you need to make one single photo frame and stand. And for today's project, I'm going to put this card that I made um, using the Lawn Fawn Make a Lemonade Stamps into a frame so that um, it can be kept. I made it for someone really special. It cheered them up and we've decided to put it into a frame. So I've rooted through all of my papers and gone for the Mother Goose collection and the checked paper, which we thought went really well with the card. So let me show you how easy it is to put the frame together. First thing you need is two sheets of paper and you need to cut one large enough to cover the backboard. So I've cut mine, I've rough cut it, I haven't measured it, um, but just half an inch bigger all the way round. And then you need to cut a piece from the second sheet of paper that is big enough to cover the frame. And lastly, a piece that is the same size as the frame, which goes on the back of the backing board. And then from the off cuts, you need to cut a piece that covers the stand on one side, and then one piece that's one and five eighths wide, just shorter than the length of the stand to put over the top. So all sort of rough cutting, no measuring, just cut around the pieces. So once you've done that, start with the backing board and we're going to just stick that to the paper and cover it. So really simple, I'm just using a couple of strips of tape, um, score tape, red line tape, you could use tacky glue. Let's just peel these off, just to hold the paper onto the, the board or the board onto the paper. I'm just going to turn it over. Such a shame, isn't it? I love the borders in this collection, but we are going to go with the checks. So we've got to cover them up. And then I'm quite a lazy crafter. Um, and I do this really when I'm using red line tape to save all the cutting with scissors, but go all the way around the edge. You do need to use tape to do this. And just mitre the corners so that when you come to pull your tape backing off, you've only got to pull one strip, not four. So press it down nice and firmly, and then take the backing strip off, all the way around. And then you want to cut the corners slightly away from the edge of the chipboard. So if you wanted to use one of the frame guides and a pencil just to draw on the other side, you can. But I'm just going to eyeball it. Another um, guide is the width of your scissors. But what you want to see is paper sticking out at the corner. And then what we've done is cut off all of those folded tape corners as well, so let's get rid of those. And then use your work surface just to lift and start the creases going at the edge of the board and really press over the paper over the chipboard firmly to stick it down. And then you'll end up, so I've done the long sides, then you'll end up with little triangles at the end of paper sticking out over your chipboard. Just push them inwards so that they cover the corner of the chipboard and then lift and fold the end of your paper over and stick it down and then do the same on the other end. And then you get really nice professional corners. So that's the backing board and then we can flip it over and stick the backing paper on straight away and then it's on. Now I haven't inked the edges, I wanted to keep it all completely 
plain, but you could ink the edges of your paper. Now this time, because this piece of paper is going straight on, I am doing four separate strips of tape because I don't want to, I'm not cutting the corners off and I don't want anything to be raised, sort of tape folds to raise up the corners. And then I'm going to stick one tape down the middle just to make sure that the paper sticks to the board. So let's just peel these off. And the last one, let's just move them out of the way onto the floor. <laughs> and then I'm going to centre that, trying to line up the checks. Can't line them up everywhere, but I have at the top. So that's our backing board done. So we can flip it over to the right side and put it to one side. And now onto the photo frame. So what you want to do is put tape or glue around three edges and you get two long strips and a short strip and those lift up the frame and so that you can push your pictures in. So we need to stick those in place first. So I'm using tape but you could use glue, just tacky glue, to stick them in place. With the tacky glue you just need to sort of leave it a couple of minutes so that the glue takes and the pieces stick together and won't move and then all you do is line up the pieces along the outside edge. A really good way of doing it is just to put them down on your work surface and push them together and then you know that outside edge is level and let's do the same with the little end one. Oops, just make sure it is level, like that. And then flip it over so that you've got just the frame showing and then put tape. Again, you could use glue, but I'm using tape. Hopefully I'll have enough. Just around the center of the frame so that it sticks to the paper. And we're going to stick it to the wrong side of the paper. So let's just take the backing strips off. Easier said than done. Oh, well, that's pulled part of it off. Right, last one. And that. Stick it down onto your paper, straight as you can, especially if you've got patterns that have a direction. And then you want to take your tape, go around the outside on the paper. Again, you can fold the corners because you're going to cut them off. Uh-oh, we've run out of tape. Let me just get my red tape. I much prefer a score tape because you don't have to pick your scissors up and cut it, but we've run out. So let's just finish off with the red tape. And then, let's come back into the centre, I'm creeping away, take your tape and put it on the paper inside the frame all the way around and again in single strips so that the tape goes right up to the corner. So this frame has been designed to take a 6x4 photograph. So the next thing to do is uh, we'll tape the tape backings off first, if we can. So 
wants to lift the tape up there. Let's take that one off all the way around and then the two red ones. That's taken the tape off as well. Come on. Oh, it's right fiddly, isn't it? not stick to our little card and then cut your corners again so that you've got paper showing under your corners so again the guide is a scissors width cut a scissors width away from the corner and then we're going to do exactly the same again with the outside edges long edges first fold up and really press down and fold up and press down and that covers that double width of chipboard at the edges and then where I will do the end with the um, frame on the inside so push your triangles in around the corners and lift up and stick and then you get nice neat corners around that double thickness of chipboard at the end and then on the other end you want to um, just take a piece of tape and put it just on that straight section in the middle because what we want this end to do is the paper to fold along and down into that recess and that's where you would slide your picture in if you were going to add one. Mine's going to be stuck in. So, And again, just push those edges in, lift up, fold over, and then just ease down where you've got the drop either side. You could use your ruler just to ease the paper in. You don't want to press too hard and rip it but you do want to have that drop so that you can slide your photo in. So that's the outside of the frame covered. And then you want to bring in your craft mat and cutting tool and starting at the corner, cut in towards the center. You don't need to follow a particular line. You just want to cut four diagonals starting at each corner in towards the centre. Don't worry if they don't meet. And then you want to have enough paper to fold back onto this ledge here. So um, a really good tip is if you've used half inch tape, it is half an inch, but if not, just take your craft knife and cut the sections out. So sort of give yourself a, a guideline. You don't want this paper to be any wider than sitting on that ledge, otherwise it interferes with the picture sliding in as well. And then take your tape backings off, if you can. I'll put links to the photo frame kits. We do a single and a double in the description under the video if you'd like to make one yourself. And with Christmas coming up, they do make lovely little gifts and great for birthdays and events as well, or just to have on your desk. Okay, so we've got all of those pieces trimmed back. Let's just move the bits out of the way and the craft mat out of the way. And then what you want to do is, from the right side, just gently fold each of those pieces under and stick down. Now just make sure that you've cut right up to the corner, otherwise the corner will rip. So let me just recut that corner there. 
and then and you fold over and stick down and then you get a really nice clean frame so I'm going to do it from this side so push and stick and push and stick as you go now if you've got any paper sticking out over that ledge it's really easy to cut it off with your craft knife I think we have at the end here so all of those fit apart from this bottom one so I'm just going to take my craft knife and just run it along the edge of the chipboard and that just should be able to lift that little bit of paper off like that and then the next thing to do is take your double-sided tape and make sure that you've got the opening you know where the opening is and you're going to take the three other sides so as close to the edge as you can get the tape and then you'll get a nice firm fit on your backing board and again, I'm doing it in strips, not taking it around the corner because I want it to sit nice and flat. I'm just going to come over that paper joint. Take your backings off. Ah, now if you were going to just use it as a photo frame, take your backings off and stick it to your photo, um, the backing board like that but I want to add my card in so let's just do that it's going to sit in like that so what I'm going to do is add some extra tape just along the inside of the frame now I can go around the corners this time because it's all going to be hidden. Let's come along there. And slip. So I'm going to take that backing tape off first. <laughs> she says, easier said than done. Let's take the card. Apologies if my head gets in the shot, but I just want to make sure that it's in straight. And I can't see any white. I think that's it. I'm going to turn it over and just press it down. So it's in. And now I'm going to take the backing tape off around the edge. and stick it to the backing board. Whoops. These are great little frames to use up all those odd sheets of paper that you've got left as well. So when you're sticking it to your backing board, make sure that you've got it, the backing board, the right way. And then center it up. It's a quarter of an inch border all the way round. I'm trying to centre up the squares and when you're happy with where it's sitting press it down so it's sitting in really nicely so all we've got to do now is put the stand on the back's all nice and covered so let's bring our two pieces in for the stand so with the stand you just need to score it an inch from the bottom and it goes onto the frame like that and lifts up. So I've put tape on here but you could put glue. So the first thing you want to do is to put tape all the way around your piece that you're going to stick your stand onto and just a couple of pieces 
down the length of the stand. You could use glue for this. I like to use tape just so that the paper sticks really firmly where that fold is, or score line is, on the stand. So I'm going to stick it on there like that. I've gone a bit close to the end, but that will be fine. Take off the backing strip. tricky down here but we'll do it. My to the corners again cutting slightly away um, from the edge of the chipboard and then I'm just going to make sure that the paper is nicely stuck where that crease is and then press the long sides over and onto the chipboard, long sides of paper. Press those triangles in at the corners. And down there. And then just give it a little fold. Turn over, put your backing paper on. The key thing is the backing paper covers from the bottom up that long section. So let's take the backing tape off. And this little piece is cut at one and five eighths wide. Which is just perfect. Let's do it like that. And then that just covers the back of the frame. And then the last thing to do is where the fold is on this top section, just put two or three strips of tape. Again, you do need tape for this rather than glue. And take the backing strips off. <laughs> they don't want to come off. You think you've got them and you haven't. Make sure that you haven't got any sticky right at the edge. Bring in your picture frame, but make sure that it's the right way up. So I'm going to go that side and my frame is going to come up from the bottom. I'm going to follow a line, centre it up and then really press that top section down firmly so that your stand lifts up. And then there it is. One altered picture frame with the lemons in which I thought looked lovely so um, have fun if you buy one of the kits thanks very much for watching don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be kept up to date with all the new videos as they come out